I'm now going to demonstrate how to make a CAT5 um, uh, Ethernet cable um, using products sold on the TVTrade.ie website. So in total, uh, the products we're going to need is, we have a crimping tool here. This is an RJ11 uh, and RJ45 crimping tool. Um, we um, have uh, RJ45 uh, jacks here and we also have a, um, a box which is 305 meters uh, of Cat5 uh, cable, okay? The only other tool we're going to need here is a um, sharp pair of snips and um, a, one thing that we'll find on the tvtrade.ie website I've actually printed off here is a wiring diagram uh, for a for Cat5 cable. Now, there's two standards, you have uh, 568A and 568A8B but um, it's 568B that is used widely within the industry and that's what we're going to demonstrate here, okay? So um, I also, just off camera here, I also have um, a laptop connection here which is actually giving me a colour coded, um, this, this map is of limited use to me when it's in black and white but we have it in front of us here, a colour coded as well which is quite convenient, we can just access it uh, directly off the tvtrade.ie website. Um, okay, so um, I'll just demonstrate next possibly uh, what the actual um, a, a Cat5 a, um, or a LAN cable looks like, okay? So what we have here is uh, we have a um, we have eight pins in total uh, being used here, okay, and they're in the color code um, that we're giving, uh, which is basically uh, orange, uh, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, uh, green, brown, white, and brown, okay. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to demonstrate how we do this, okay. So um, the, uh, the first thing I'll do is, with this particular um, uh, thing is, I have a, a length of a Cat5 cable here in front of me, okay? So we can use the crimping tool here to cut this uh, by using this uh, connection here. So what I'll do is, I just put this to, uh, crimping tool in here and I click it into position there. So as you can see here, on this crimping tool, there's two settings for the blade cutting. There's a gap left here. And the reason there's gap left there, if we want to cut the outer cable but not cut the inner cable. And then the second one here is an actual guillotine where it actually touches. And the purpose here is to actually cut the cable straight through. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I am going to come along and I'm going to slide this cable through. Now we're there's a stop on the far side of this cable, but we actually want to go as far as that stop and a good bit further on the far side. So we're looking at the back here. We actually have a cable sticking through a considerable distance. And then we just close in this here. And then we just pull it forward like this. And what we're able to do is we're able to actually pull um, off the cable, the outer cable, without damaging any of the inner cables, okay? So the first thing I'd normally do here is we'll see to the side here we have a piece of um, sort of string nylon here that runs with the cable, and we cut that off initially. So I'll just unfurl this here, and you'll see that inside we have four sets of twisted pair cable, okay? So the first thing we need to do is untwist this cable here. So this is quite difficult to show you while not blocking your view, okay? But basically we want to start off with the orange here, okay? Um, orange, white first and then orange. Then we move on to green. So we'll have the green, white next, but st strangely, in terms of color coding, um, we deviate then and we actually need to put in the blues directly after the green white, okay? So I'm just gonna work through here. So we have this thing here. We have the first three cables that we want lined up here. And then we untwist the blue here. Now this is certainly the most complicated part of the process, is actually lining up the cables exactly as we want them. So we put the blue in next, then we put the blue white in, and now we come back and we get the green from earlier. Okay, so we're lining quite nicely here. Um, move on now to the brown so it's brown white and then it's blue or brown at the very end so we have the ones that we wanted so you can see here this is about 25 millimeters long the length of these particular cables which is probably longer than we want okay so what we would normally do at this particular point is just squeeze them into the order exactly as we want them. And what we do then is we put this into the crimping tool like this, 
and we cut it down to the length that we want. So in this particular case, this will be in the region of about, um, uh, you know, 15 millimeters maybe, okay? So we've cut right through, and we have all um, eight cables lined up here, exactly the right length, and then we go to put on this particular connector here, okay? So what I've actually got over here is um, um, a connector where I've actually pushed in the cables all the way, okay, but I haven't actually crimped it yet. So what we do is we just simply push those cables in in that position, and then I'll show you the crimping tool here. So there's two crimping mechanisms on it. This here, the smaller one, is for RJ11s, but in this particular case, we want to use the uh, RJ45s. So we simply push the, press this slightly, and push this right into the crimping tool. And at that particular point in time, we simply use our mechanism here, crimp this into position like this, okay? And then we just push the bottom mechanism here, and we just pull out the crimp itself. Now sometimes there's a cover you can actually slide over here. It's not absolutely essential for the thing, but we can see we have, we've managed to achieve the color code exactly um, as set out in the wiring diagram, which I've printed off here. And what we'll do then is we'll simply move on and we'll repeat the same process on the end. Now it, it is of course possible to buy Cat5 cables made up, but the advantage of doing it this way is twofold. Number one, it's obviously much cheaper. And number two, it's much more flexible. Um, uh, and it's flexible in two ways. First of all, you can get the cable to exactly the length that you want. Uh, and the second thing is, uh, uh, which is quite advantageous is, if you're drilling holes to run this particular cable, you have to drill quite a large hole, maybe 14 or 15 millimeters, to be able to push through one of these connectors. If you're actually just pushing through the cable uh, itself, you can drill a much smaller hole, only four or five millimeters, push through the cable, and then after you've got the cable run to the point where you want and exactly the right length, you can actually crimp it uh, to that position uh, and put the connector on at that point. Um, so that's it uh, for beginning to end, uh, an overview of how to make a, um, a Cat5 cable uh, with RJ45 connectors on both ends.